acknowledge that this lecture is taking place in the traditional territories of the Kuomintang First Nation and the Tan Kwachan Council, Council, and also to let you know that tonight's lecture is being recorded. Tonight's lecture is being presented by the Yukon Science Institute. The Yukon Science Institute is a nonprofit organization that seeks to promote public awareness and science activities in the Yukon and to aid and facilitate scientific research and development. As part of our mandate, YSI coordinates the lecture series that this lecture is a part of. YSI is funded by the Yukon Department of Tourism and Culture, Heritage Branch, and Environment Yukon, and supported by the Yukon Brewing Jam Charity Center. So first, a few notes on upcoming lectures. Uh, on Sunday, February 24th, David Phillips, Environment and Climate Change Canada's Senior Climatologist, will be delivering the third annual Ian Church Memorial Lecture on how things have changed as the result of a changing climate. Stephen Chastain will be speaking about marine microplastics, particularly in Arctic waters on Friday, March 1st. He will be the keynote speaker for the Yukon Biodiversity Forum taking place on Saturday, March 2nd. And on Thursday, March 28th, in partnership with Wildwise Yukon, the Yukon Science Institute will be presenting an evening all about bears. And uh, before I introduce our speaker, uh, just a reminder that 2019-2020 memberships uh, will be available at the membership table after the lecture if you haven't already purchased one. Please join. We'd appreci really appreciate the support. And with, that, with it, you will receive emails about upcoming lectures. So tonight, Daphna Buxbaum, yes, <laughs> um, will be delivering the lecture, What Did You Do That For? How Dogs, Children, and Monkeys Learn from Others. Daphna is an assistant professor in the psychology department at the University of Toronto whose research explores how intelligent species such as dogs, primates, and people understand the world around them. She is especially interested in how these different species learn socially, such as how they reason about the preferences, goals, and desires of their social partners, and also how they reason physically about objects in the physical world. Daphna's road to academia began at the MIT Media Lab, where she completed a master's degree working on social learning and interactive animated characters. She then worked for ICO System Corporation, developing software for modeling the spread of cell phone viruses, visualizing online information, and suggesting good baby names, <laughs> among other things. Following that, she completed a PhD in the UC Berkeley Psychology Department befo before becoming a research fellow at the University of St. Andrews, where she had the opportunity to work with a variety of primate species at the Edinburgh Zoo. In her non-academic life, she and her dog, Pumpkin, have trained as a wilderness search and rescue team with the California Rescue Dog Association and the Alameda County Sheriff's Department Search and Rescue Unit, and were deployed on multiple searches for lost people. On a lighter note, while in St. Andrews, she performed academic-themed stand-up comedy in St. Andrews, Edinburgh, and Dundee with the Bright Club. So with that, I'd like to introduce... Hello. All right, hi. Thanks for that uh, great introduction. I'm really excited to be here. This is actually my first time in the Yukon, and I've been really enjoying the visit so far. Um, so I think that this was the original title of my talk. Um, but as I was putting my talk together, I realized that there was really so much to say just about dogs and dog cognition, that that's what I'm really going to be focusing on today. Um, but <laughs> Well, all right. All right, I was going to say that if you're you know, really disappointed and want to hear about monkeys, you could ask me about it during the question and answer period, but apparently this is, this is going to work for all of you. <laughs> all right. Um, so actually, I guess you covered quite a bit of my background, um, but I am a professor in the psychology department.